so it's been a little bit since we've done any videos. I'm still getting used to my uh, false palette. Hopefully you guys are able to understand me. I think I'm getting better, but you know, thanks for all the well wishes. Appreciate it. Video time. Yeah. Just so anyone that doesn't know what that means, we put up a video a while back. If you can go and check that out. She had a surgery on her palate, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. And I just cut out some stuff I didn't need. I lost some, I lost, um, rid of some mouth weight so I could passenger better. <laughs> anyway, so finally we're back for a video. Um, and we got something cool to show you. We do. So we've worked with Oxbeam before. You guys know that. A long time ago. And we love them. They have a great product. They sent us some um, LED driving lights. Um... I think this is going to be an awesome product to get a more budget way of lighting up the trail um, versus some of the competitors out there, which are awesome. I'm not knocking anybody, but yeah. if you don't want to spend the 500 and you'd rather spend the 140, then this is the way to go. Yeah. So we're going to uh, show you how to put these on. It and there's quick... some technical, according to their specifications, uh, they compare to some of the more expensive like I was ones. Okay, for example, like you talk about a three-inch pair of driving lights by Rigid, which is one of the top brands out there. They're amazing. Um, they are putting out about 9,200 lumens out of 5,000, uh, the 5,000 white color profile, which is kind of to mimic daylight. Um, these are going to be 9,600 lumens for the pair. This is going to be a 6,000 uh, white light, so again, a little bit brighter. Uh, we don't have rigid here to compare to, but we're going to show you. That's what their specs say. That's what their specs say. Uh, we're not going to buy rigid to compare no, them. No, 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 we're not. If, if someone wants to compare them and they have some and they want to bring their car, I, whatever, you know, we're, we're just, we're, we're not, just doing not this because we want some more lights and because yeah. our friends at Oxbeam are awesome and they have. And honestly, this is not the focus of the channel comparing no. products. We're just showing you what we have. Right. They sent them. We think Oxbeam is an off, uh, awesome company. Yep. And they're yeah. awesome to deal with. They're good people. So yep. these ones here, this box, these are the, like I said, the three inch driving light set. It comes with a pair of lights. Um, you're going to get the wiring harness, the switch. You're going to get two of the um, the yellow, amber colored lenses. The reason why we're going to use those, I think. Yeah. Reason being, we have the front kind of spotlight already. This is going to help us in poor visibility, like on the trail where there's a lot of dust. It. The yellow color is going to give you some penetration and cut through all that mess. So... That's what we're hoping for. Um, should be a pretty easy install. I'm great with electronics. So, um, like I said, you got the wiring harness, we got the switch, we got the two masks that come with it, and then the lights themselves, which are and actually, I, these are a die cast aluminum. Um, so they're light, they're heat resistant, they're waterproof. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah, and I mean, there's put no corrosion. It says avoids corrosion. And we have a 50,000 hour lifetime rating on these lights. So, five LEDs in here instead of four, like the rigid, by the way. So, we'll see what's up. And uh, we're gonna, so I did already open this and swap out one of the lenses, yeah. but I'm gonna open the rest of it, show you what's in the box and show you what we're gonna use to mount it. Uh, in the meantime, what I did was uh, I uh, tore into, the, look at this, we didn't even clean the car. I, this is what happens when you ride. Yep, so uh, we are fresh off of a ride, not fresh because we had to park the car and do with, uh, deal with some, uh, some COVID and some surgery. Some COVID, and so surgery. the car has set the way it uh, was from our New Year's trip. And we didn't have time <laughs> to clean it before we did this video. So this is what an off-road car looks like. So for anyone that has a problem with that, well, this is, this just, is what it looks like. This right here, this isn't dirt. This is a adventure I mean, dust. Yeah, we have a clean one because we cleaned it and we haven't ridden it yet. But anyway, I did sure. some pre-work. Um, I'll mention that too real quick. That clean one. It's for sale, the Turbo S. That's okay. all I'm gonna say. So I opened up, uh, I took it, took the seat out, obviously. Opened up the side console. We have a lot of wiring in there already for various <laughs> it looks so different pretty, kinds though. of Good things. Job I did. But uh, I opened up the side console because we're gonna have to get in there to run. Uh, these two front lights that we have now are actually wired together. Mm -hmm. uh, that one broke. We need to replace that one. And this one, uh, those are wired together. But we're gonna run these lights on a separate. Uh, switch yeah we are because so, we don't need the driving lights at all times yeah so we're gonna go over uh what's in the box right now Let's and then see. we'll show you the install and we will do our best to show you what they look like in our dark garage yeah all right okay. we'll, we'll 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 open this box up where are we at okay so here's the box we already kind of showed you what's uh, kind of what's in here yeah um i prepped the car and it's dirty so i'm dirty yeah, well, um, okay so here are the lights Right. There are the mounts that come with the lights. Let's see what they look like real quick. Yeah, so it uh, does come with the mounts. It comes with uh, the wiring harness, yeah, the switch. Here's all the hardware. I'm just going to dump it all out. It comes okay. with the Allen wrenches, blah, blah, whatever. Um, so it looks like these uh, mount to here. Something like so. Yep. 
Okay. Probably with something like this. Wait a minute, hang on washer. a second. This thing, hang on a sec. Okay, so here's the um, mount that it comes with. Okay. Here's the hardware. I'm assuming a, a washer and a lock washer. Probably tighten that down once you get it adjusted where you want it. Um, we have some additional hardware because we're going to mount these right in this area. I think we're going to have to move our mirrors up a little bit. This can go wherever this is. Right. Uh, so we're, we're, uh, we're going to open all this and we'll see what we're going to mount. Okay. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. And I'll show you the wire that it comes with in a minute. We're going to make a minor change there. We're just doing our Here. own little customizations. I'm going to dump that box out. What's that coming? Yeah, again, some hardware and some an Allen wrench. Everyone gives you, we have a lot. We throw them away. I'm not yeah. Sure. This is, I guess, to wrap around the inside of that when you clamp it on. We'll explore that when we get there. Again, this is a separate piece that didn't come with this set. Yeah. We are. We're this doing is, a uh, these are. Yeah, those are ATC Ultra and Concepts of Pillar Mounts. From Klaassen Motorsports. Yep, from Klaassen Motorsports. You need some? Call me. Yep. All right. So the way we're going to mount them is this is going to go on this, like so. And then this is going to sit on this. Uh, like so, and okay. this, here, let's go. Yeah. Let's go to, we'll go here, we'll have a little more room to work with. And then we'll hopefully hide that cable oh, as yeah, we can yeah, down, yeah. tuck it down in there. Wow, we're getting the fish This is, uh, wait, how does this go? Hold on. Zroom. Oh, like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. we're going to try probably down in this range. So we're at a, a 45 degree angle, 1.875 inch, right? Uh, 1.75. Oh, 1.75, because we have a cage, custom cage. It would be 1.875 Thor stop, but... Yeah. And uh, those are the pillar mounts. Something okay. like that. Yeah. Um, all right, this is the wiring that came with, which yeah, is kind of cool, uh, that it came with, wiring harness. Yeah. I did notice one thing looking through the bag that we're going to want to change. So here's what it came with. Let's see what we got. Okay, looks wiry. We got our relay. Motion detected at the doorbell. Shush. Okay. Our dogs are barking. Oh, yeah. So we got a relay, which is handy. Mm -hmm. We have a fuse, and we have this is to connect to battery or wherever. We're going to connect this to uh, accessory on the. Um, well, we'll show you. Yeah, I'll show you right now. Okay. We're going to connect this to Can Am. If you have a Can Am, just like Razor provides with a place to connect accessories. Right. If you look at that post right there, it has a ground. Mm hmm. It has uh, hot all the time, and it has an accessory. So, like when you turn on the key. Okay. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna hook up our uh, our our lights to accessories. That when we that way when we turn the key off, we don't have a light on because someone, the primary driver of that car, has a bad habit of leaving stuff on. And you know what? As a co-driver, I've accepted responsibility for making sure it's off. So when it's on, it's my fault too. Okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, this is kind of cool. So it's a split. It's a split. It's a split. Split loom. loom. Is that what that's called? Or so it's plug and play. Look at that. That's what they said on this awesome. package. Wow. So nice, uh, nice weather pack. Connected. Weather's, yeah, weather's uh, safe. Plugs that seal up keep the corrosion and the waters and all that yeah. good stuff. Yeah. So, uh, so we'll be running these cables, Randy will, mm -hmm. <laughs> through the dash and uh, somewhere down in here. And the uh, cables will run down the back of the cage, drop in there. So the only thing to change on this for us is, uh, this is the switch it comes with. And uh, we will be running, I don't have, this doesn't have a... I mean, we're gonna have a different switch yeah. tomorrow, but... Yeah, we'll, we're gonna, we'll borrow one for tonight so we can show you the install. But this rocker switch will also be lighted. So we'll put this one next to one that's already lit. Right. Like a OEM one. Right. Or a factory installed. And we'll borrow, we'll piggyback off of the uh, power that lights the switch. Okay. Actually, we have power that lights the switch. Okay. There's three wires, so we're good to go. Okay. All right, so that might not be true. We'll find out. <laughs> uh, um, anyway, we're going to use this style switch, not this style switch. Yeah, we're not going to use the button button. We don't um, do that. So the next thing to do is do the wiring because if we mount the pods, we're going to want to stop there. Right. Then it's, you know, then it looks cool. You're done. Yeah. But well, we got to save that for so last. So we do the hard part right now. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Gonna... Okay. It's been a minute. We went way, way deep down the rabbit hole. Here's <sighs> what fun. we did. Here's the problem. 
I started to put a switch in, realized I had a switch right here that wasn't in use. Couldn't remember what it was for. Then after some digging, traced it. We had a um, we had a whole like backup camera system in here, right? Yeah. And it that switch over there was connected to it, and we had all kinds of wiring in here for the wireless transmitter uh, receiver. I mean, for the wireless camera, backup camera. Yeah. So we went ahead and yanked all that out, and we figured you didn't want to see that, so we didn't show it. So what Brandy's gonna do right now? This is that terminal I was showing you right there. It's got a ground, I want to say ground in the center. Yeah, it looks like ground in the center. One side's going to be hollow all the time, the other side's not. So you're going to put the black on the center post for ground. Okay. Here, lay this over here. We can see it when you do it. Okay, so black on here. Yep. And then you're going to touch the red one to one of the other ones. We got okay. 12 points. So that's, okay, now touch it to the other one. Hold it on there. Wait. That's not right. Hold on. Hold on. So I told her wrong because when I glanced in here, you know, any reasonable sane person, when you see this black, 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 you would think that's the ground. But no, it's this one that's not coated. Right. Covered. Whatever. So that one is so ground. That's ground. And then we're going to touch here. The middle one is live all the time. Yeah. If I'm sorry. If I'm, how about this? How about I get that on? Shaky. And then do it. All right. 12, and now the bottom. Okay, bottom, and we hold it on the bottom, and I'll turn the key on, and we'll confirm that's key on power. Yep. Key on power. All right, so we're going to use the bottom one and put our lights on there. That way we don't turn forget off. and leave them on. Okay. Yep. All right, so we're going to we're gonna use the bottom one, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Let's key do on. this. Okay. All right, so we went ahead and disconnected the battery. Yeah, safety. Right there, safety. And she's going to pull these terminals off. I'm just going to pull top and bottom. Yep, because the bottom is key on power. Right. Yep. Alright, so top is ground, bottom is key on power. Yep, so, so what we're going to do is... Put this, feed this one onto here. Yep. And then put that back on. Yep, just... Thread it on with the Start it, tight. yeah, and then do the other one. Okay, so she's going to put the nut on. Uh, we got the ground okay. on there. Now we're going to do the yep, positive. Put the other one. We have the battery disconnected, so. So no shocky shock. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we're not worried about shock. Well, oh, well, no, whatever happens. Won't shock you. But, um. I'm always just told also shock you if you're dealing with the coil. I'm always the convinced that I'm going to get shocked. I don't know why. Yeah. Okay, tighten those back on. Mm -hmm. Okay, now cover that back up like that. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna neatly tuck that relay back in there. We'll zip tie it up. Yeah. Well, along with that. Yeah, along with that. Yeah. Uh, no. Just tuck it right. The rest of that wiring goes forward. Okay. Like that. Yep. And then we will zip tie that all up when we're done here. Okay. So we're going to route those probably one at a time. Mm -hmm. um, Let's see. We'll come back. All right. All right. So deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole we go. Yeah. So basically what happened is we pulled the seat out, right? And then we're <laughs> like, oh, we needed to get to the wiring. Well, I found some wiring, there, wiring in there I wanted to get rid of. And then we're like, oh, well, we got to run the wiring up through the dash and over here to this part of the cage under the dash. And with this cage in the way, you pretty much got to take the glove box door off and this off. And, uh, and then here we are. Yeah. <laughs> we also need to get to this side. So this is not pulled all the way out, but it's, oh, uh, you know, the entire dash is pulled apart. This yeah. is pulled apart so that we can get the wire ran in here. It's because the wire is going to sneak down behind here behind the cage, go across the dash. You know, that has to happen on both sides. So you're and basically then we got... saying it's like every other thing we do. Exactly. Yeah. And then the switch comes to that. Boom. So, Brandy already has the wiring ran I've been through. waiting on you, bro, yeah. All right, let me sneak okay. in here. Oh. So, we have the wiring. Like I said, we'll zip tie that up. Nice and neat. We got a relay in here. Mm -hmm. We have uh, 
so we have a relay in there. We have our powers connected. Yeah, we got key on power. We, and got, we got the ground on yeah. there. I'm drilling all of it through. The switch is already run to the side where the switch is going to be. The switch. Pulled. The switch is going to be right here, actually. Yeah, so I run it over there. So it's laying on top because I couldn't fit it through the thing, the button on it. Okay. These two are the other ones that are going to come up this side. Yeah, switch is going to go right here where yeah. the, it holes open. Yep. So I just couldn't fit it through. Probably now. Get the wires laid out here. Once we do, we'll go ahead and throw the pods on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yawning. Oh, man, I didn't even know I was doing it, but now that you bring yeah. Right. I haven't been able to yawn. So where's that switch? It's right here. Okay, so just unplug it and for the moment. Okay. And All right, then so we're going to pop that, that through, through here. here. And then, you know, when we're done, we'll, we'll uh, pull some of that wire back through. It doesn't yeah. need to be that long. So then that can be reconnected to this guy. Yep. And th this is all temporary. We're going to test it with this switch yeah. because we don't have the switch we want tonight. Yeah. Uh, so next thing is to run one of those to each side of the car. cables through we got the switch already pulled through here with a temporary button on it and then we pulled to each side of the car for each pod okay. basically where it's going to plug in yeah. obviously this is going to be shortened up but for right now just to show it to you we have one on driver one on passenger side Correct. Um, we have it all already hooked into power and to ground we got the button pulled through so we in theory should be able to get them connected plug them, plug them in Turn the key on after we reconnect the battery. Yeah. And uh, bada bing, bada boom, light. Yeah, we have this one here. Yep. Which will get uh, shortened. Yep. Uh, pod light will go here. We're going to do the pod lights now, finally. Finally! Finally to the fun stuff. Um, yeah. And that's you all over here. What right you do now? Uh, doing a little test fit of this piece. It looks good so far. So this... what you're saying is the fun stuff. Yep. So, so far this reminds me of the Axia stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this piece is pretty much identical. Axia alloys, I carry that too, but these so are... Uh... spread that out, like you have to do with the other ones. Right. And then this, I think what we're going to shoot for probably as low, is to go as low as we can here. Right. right. Um, as low as we can, which is going to be right there to that bar. And then if you notice, we have the mirrors off, we'll put them back up. Once we have these in place, we'll figure out where they, we can put them, where they're going to fit. Right, right, okay. So, uh, function before fo form. Function, form, function before form, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and right now we're doing function, so. Oh, yeah. Conjunction, oh, no, that's a conjunction, junction, what's my function? Um... Okay, so, that was a short pause. Okay. So you got to spread these out, right? Right. To get them over the bar, but then they don't want to stay together to put the bar. The Whoa, thing my favorite thing ever. Um, these are not strong enough. But well, what about the GoPro clamp behind can, you? Yeah, we'll get it. Okay. We're going to get a different clamp, but this is going to be the, That's the ticket. Do it. This is the this ticket. This is the ticket. Right, let me get a different Let okay. me get a different You have a variety of clamps up, up here, sir. I have really good clamps on my tool belt, but you're not using them. I mean, you can. But, yeah, okay. This one will work. That'll work, all right. So, that's called a holder, my bobber. Clamp it! I don't know. All right. Clamp this about where we want it. Yeah, all right. Roughly. I like that, I like that idea. That's a pro tip right there. We call it a Hoover maneuver. Pro tip. Pro tip. Uh, Life hack. I don't really like saying pro tip because that implies I think I'm a pro. I feel like you are a pro, so. So I put this the opposite way. I want the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Here's this. Yeah. Bye, guy. What happened to that? Put them like that. Uh huh. Right through there. Okay. ATC. Okay. So far, so good. Like your pillow mounts have. Alright, and then we gotta, I'll let the clamp loose. Uh -huh. And then we can adjust it to right where we want it. To our liking, some say. Right down to the nitty gritty. Right down to the bar. Now, so we'll have to play with 
getting this dead on straight, of course. Well, that's called an CD. But we'll figure that out. Okay, so I see what you're doing now. All right, let's get over here and take a look. Find see, that down. we're all the way down to that weld. Okay. Well, oh, that's it. So we get that fit, kind huh? of tight. I mean, there. I like the way that looks, though. And then look, let's go ahead, let's do this. Real little quick. platform. Okay. Let's slap one of these guys together. Okay. So the way this is going to sit, it's going to be something like that. Yeah. And we will tuck this wire down in there. Yeah, and it'll meet up with the other one already pre-run. Yeah. Pre-run. If we were um, a little more OCD, we'd put a hole in the cage more, somewhere. I was already like thinking about that. We probably will. We probably will. Yeah. But not. Not right now. Not right in this moment. We will not. No, but we will definitely be doing that. Okay. I like it. Let's see from this side of the profile. Oh, yeah. Once that hole is drilled in the cage and that cord is a... Out of sight. That is going to be so good. <laughs> I was almost wondering about that cord. If we can run it through the bolt and maybe drill a hole in the mount or something. Wow, look at you. Just, you know. All right. Okay. So I'm going to bring that. Bring this guy down. Um, it's low. A little bit up on your side. At least times this way a little bit more. You know what I mean? It's sitting kind of, yeah, like that. Yep. Yep. Okay. Alright. Let's see what this looks like in a minute. If this looks good, we'll slap the other one on and we will fire these lights up and then maybe we'll uh, button this up on another. Yeah. Here. Here? No. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, because now we're like, we have the rest of what we have to do is going to be hiding wires and, uh, and blowing tires. And blowing tires. We're not going to do that. We're not going to blow it. We're not going to blow them. Although we could blow them up with our new to us air compressor. All right. It's quiet. Like a dream. Thanks to Metalcraft Motorsports. Metalcraft. Yeah. Scott hooked it up. And it is awesome. And thanks Rob for coming oh, over. Works. And Danny. We got Danny's muscles to help get it off the trailer. We got Rob and his love of electricity. <laughs> okay. I think. That's still pretty low on that air. And I think it looks good. It looks way off roady now with that dirty ass, dirty, dirty mirror. Yeah. Can, I'll make sure that mirror is straight. Can you see? If you get in there, can you still see out there? Height wise? I think it's still good. That mirror is upside down, so. What's that? This mirror is the passenger side mirror. It's upside down. I can fix that so quick. <laughs> no, seriously. I know. Where's the um, screwdriver? Yeah. It's like rotating your tires. You don't rotate your mirrors, I mean. Chances yeah. are. Yeah. Oh, this, this one that doesn't right. work that way, buddy. Nope. This, ah, uh, you're smarter than okay. who does. That's another thing. I thought this was an off road car, not a garage. Uh, I don't know what you call it. I'll just don't put your finger in there. Let's slap that other one on, and uh, you don't have to watch all that. Yeah. Then we'll, we'll show it. Then we'll power on. I'm excited about that. I'll show you what we got. Okay. Um. Okay. How you doing? I'm tired. We're not so, buttoning. No, I mean, all that stuff's going to Yeah, be. we didn't button the car up, but we have everything set up. Look at that. That's it. <laughs> it's going like that right now. That. Yeah, we don't worry about it. Well, the lights are mounted. They're wired. We just got to tuck the wiring away. And, uh, yeah. So we're just gonna show you what, show you what the lights look like. That's right. what they look like on the car. Right. And we'll show you. We're gonna turn off the lights, and we're gonna go. It's actually dark right now outside, so we're gonna we're gonna go drive it outside. I mean, you know, we live in the city, so it's not gonna be pitch dark. No. All right, let's do it. Let's show you try. Okay. Unfortunately, you can't turn the fang lights off. I don't know of anyway. Yeah. If you do, comment below. I feel. Tell like, them, babe. I feel. I comment below about how to turn that off, please, if you know how. I thought we used to be able to. We haven't ridden in like. A year and a half. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my. Lit up. Okay. Wait a minute. I think we got. Hold on. Hold on. And then if you add some. Okay. Right, let's do this. Oh, you know what? I think we might have dead battery. Oh, let's try. Uh, that's our little light bar and our. Uh, fan lights. Fan oh, light. I gotta start it, unfortunately. Okay, go ahead. Okay. 
All right. Honestly, I think the uh, pod light, those two pod lights are brighter than those other two. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Wow. Those are no joke. All of them together, definitely. it up back here. I didn't even see you light it up back here. Yeah. A little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, that's just the light bar and the fang lights and the headlight. Oh, yeah. Dude. Awesome. That definitely adds a lot more detail to it, I think. Okay. Rad. Big fan. Uh, definitely. I like these. So these are the Oxbeam 3-inch pod lights. What do you think? I like them. You like them? They lit up the street. I'm excited to get them out into the dirt, though, and see what the transitions and stuff look like, I think. Whatever, you know. But like. thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. I'm going to put links below to everything. Links to this product. Um, links to whatever else we said we were going to put links to. I can't remember at this point. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, leave a comment. We love hearing from you. Links to Facebook and all that jazz. And we will uh, talk to you soon. See you in the sand or the dirt. Peace.